Are you sick and tired of low FPS when gaming? Well, for the low price of FREE, you can boost your FPS and get rid of those painful frame drops in game. What's going on, guys? It's Huncho here, back with another video. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button down below. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway for every 1,000 subscribers. The giveaway would be something like a full PC optimization and maybe bigger giveaways for more substantial milestones. The first trick here is specific to Fortnite. It's something you might have heard before. It was talked about at one point a couple of months ago of wearing different skins and how it affects FPS and input delay. This is something that no one really talks about anymore, but it really affects FPS. So as you can see here, I'm wearing the Willow skin with the Dolly back bling. And I'm going to go into creative here in an empty map and show you my FPS. So this is my FPS looking around. Now I'm going to speed this part up. But I'm going to go back to lobby, take off the back bling, and put on a soccer skin. Load back in, and now I'm getting almost 200 more FPS. Now it's way too time consuming to keep going into creative to see how it affects your FPS. However, you can do it right in the lobby by making your frames unlimited. And you'll see I'm around 430 FPS maxed here with the up arrow. You can tell by changing things just in the lobby how much it affects your FPS. Just by taking off my back bling, now you see my up arrow all the way up to 540. Even if I put on a soccer skin with the galaxy cape, I'm still down to 400-ish FPS. So my first advice would be to go through your back blings that you're wearing by putting on a default skin and go through the ones that you like to wear. Sometimes you can even just change it in this screen and check the FPS. Then you can do the exact same thing for the skins itself by taking off the back bling and then going through the skins. Talking about pickaxe and input delay, the more you have going on with your pickaxe, the more input delay you'll see when every single time you pull out your pickaxe between edits, going to hit someone's builds. This is one that I tried out a lot because it has a lot of effect to it. And I noticed besides the sound being loud, going from something like this to either the default pickaxe, flawless, something that's simple. Most of the dual pickaxes are pretty simple to where it's not gonna affect your input delay, but going with something simple like the Reaper or the default can help lower your input delay every single time you pull out your pickaxe. Before we make any changes, a good habit to get into before you do any video is creating a system restore point. So if you go to your control panel, or you can search in the bottom if you still have the search feature enabled. Control panel, system, system protection. It'll bring you to this tab here, and this is where you will create a restore point. So anytime you have a PC problem and you're like, dang, I don't know what happened. I don't know how to fix it. You can system restore to any point that you've saved. The second tip is going to be debloating your windows. This is gonna be the fastest way possible to deep load your windows and you won't spend a lot of time doing it. I'm gonna put the website link in the description, but you don't even need that. You can use the quick download link. I'll have this in the description as well. You're gonna copy it, run PowerShell as admin, and paste. You're gonna get this Windows Debloater 10 screen right here. You can either use remove all blowware or remove blowware with customized blacklist. So when you open the blacklist, it's going to look like this. Anything non-removable, you're not going to be able to remove, obviously. Put all of these in here. I'm using an ISO file, so that's why it says conflict blacklist because these aren't on the windows I'm using. But you can go through this. Anything that's checked will be removed from the PC. Anything that's unchecked will not be changed. And then after you change those, you have to go back, click save, exit it, and then remove bloatware with customized blacklist. So it'll look like this when it runs. Things will actually happen. I've just to have my windows to bloated actually. Things will pop up here, but I already have windows to bloated. And then it'll say bloatware removed when it's done. 
Then you can go through these changes of things you want to get rid of. So disabling Cortana, stopping the PDF takeover, uninstalling OneDrive. You need to be careful with this because the people that have their Microsoft account linked to their Windows, a lot of your documents will be saved to your OneDrive folder as your folder itself will not be local and it'll be connected to your OneDrive. So if you uninstall this, you'll lose all of your documents. You can also unpin anything from your start menu. If you've gone through my previous videos, don't run this because we added things to the start menu to be able to delete the Fortnite game folder automatically as well as removing your temp files. Removing your bloatware reg keys. This will remove the registry keys for bloatware. The same applies to disabling telemetry and tasks. Some games will use the Net V 3.5, so you can go ahead and install this as well to make sure that you do not have any issues with it, but most likely you will not need it. The third tip is going to be related to your hard drive or SSD. So we're going to right click on our windows, or you can search up disk management. I always advise people to have at least 60% free space if you do have a large capacity SSD. However, as long as you stay with at least 40% free space, it won't affect your FPS as much. The easiest way to lower your space is moving any clips you have to an external hard drive or to another disk that you might have connected to your PC. Along with storage space, you also want to have Fortnite or any other game you play competitively on the same disk as Windows. So if you have multiple disks and you installed Windows on your C drive, make sure you have Fortnite also on your C drive. Now a lot of people have different hard drives or SSDs, but I'm just going to show you this through Samsung. So I have the Samsung 970 EVO NVMe. But if you type in your brand of SSD with driver download after it, you can make sure that your SSD or your hard drive is fully updated. For Samsung, they have this thing called the Samsung Magician, which is a software program that looks like this. So not only does this tell you the temperature, but it shows you the health of your SSD, the space, and while you're in here, you can check to see if you are updated to the latest firmware for your SSD. Some SSDs won't have updated firmware or they won't have a program like the Samsung Magician, but you still might be able to download it from their website. The fourth tip is gonna be going through your control panel and turning off or getting rid of the things that you do not need. So if you go to view by large icons, I'll just go through some of the things that are the most important to turn off. So you can go to programs and features, turn off windows features, and I turn off everything except the net framework. So if you use anything like Internet Explorer, print services, do not turn those off. Otherwise you can get rid of anything in here. You'll, have, you'll likely have to restart after doing that. In the sound settings, go to sounds, sound scheme, no sounds, apply, communications, do nothing, and apply. On the Windows ISO file I'm on, the ease of access is removed. However, along with the changes I showed here, the Dansky's Windows Guide that I'll post down in the description goes through all of the control panel settings as well as more Windows settings that you can change or turn off. Lastly, we're going to be enabling XMP in our BIOS. Not only do a lot of people have different BIOS systems because of their motherboards, but they also have different RAM sticks as well as frequencies. And some motherboards won't let you enable XMP or overclock your RAM. So when you get into BIOS, if you see that XMP is not available or you can't find it, you likely cannot enable it. The proper way to overclock your RAM is by manually adjusting timings. But not only does that process take a very long time, but you also have to test for stability. For example, my RAM sticks are the Corsair Vengeance 
and they run at 3200 megahertz. However, if you've never enabled XMP before or overclocked your RAM, when you go to the performance tab and task manager and go to memory, you'll see that your speed in task manager of what your RAM is running is not the max speed of your RAM. I have these four websites in the description. They will show you how to enable XMP in your BIOS for the different systems. Sometimes you will see XMP1 and XMP2. Select XMP1 as those timings were set up for your motherboard specifically, whereas XMP2 will have looser timings and you won't get as good of performance with XMP2 compared to XMP1. A bonus tip, since you are already in BIOS, if you mainly use your computer for gaming, disable your CPU C states and turn off any virtualization technology that will be named something like Intel virtualization technology, AMD virtualization technology, usually found on the main screen of the BIOS. When you disable C states, it allows for your CPU to get constant voltage at all times. So if you do not have a very powerful CPU, I highly recommend downloading something like Quick CPU, where you can see your CPU temperatures. As long as you're not going over 75 to 80 degrees when you're gaming, leaving your CPU C states disabled is fine. However, if you're seeing your temperatures climb very high, go ahead and enable your C states again, as your cooling for your CPU in your computer is likely not strong enough to combat the constant voltage and temperature of your CPU. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I've also posted my Discord, which almost has 400 members now, and one of the mods will be happy to answer any of the questions that you have. Please subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.